recommendation. A favorable representation in words. If I may ask you tonight, how well can you, what has the Lord done for you that will move you from the depths of your heart to shower commendations on him? He has done marvelous things. Praises can be in two phases. There is one that is called the praises of men. And the praises of men is characterized most times with insincerity. It's characterized with deceit. When they are praising you, they may not really mean it. It may be that they are pushing you to a very nearby place. But that has got nothing to do with the praises of God. Of which God himself is the object of our praise. He is worthy of our praise. And forever, as long as the Lord bless our lives, we shall continue to celebrate this festival. Because this festival of praise and glory is birth out of a heart of deep appreciation and admiration of God's display of wonders in the lives of a mortal being that is beyond merit or comprehension. So God alone is worthy of our praise. I pray for you and for myself tonight. May our praises be accepted before him tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Once again, everybody, the minister, the guest minister here presents, the covenant voices, and the congregation, we are all welcome to his presence. Have the preacher in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Your hallelujah shall not cease in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you sure you are still in this service? Hallelujah. Yeah. Our mommy just welcomed us and she made us know the reason that we are here. You know, this popular saying that when the purpose of it. From this moment that I'm speaking, your good news shall be announced in the name of Jesus. I say your good news shall be announced in the name of Jesus. I want you to lift up your two hands and shout it louder. Oh Lord, I need a good news. I'm not hearing you say, oh Lord, I need a good news. Mary was doing her own thing in her own house. A young lady who was a virgin, not knowing that heaven was already packaging something for her. Somebody is hearing me. Oh, don't much you more. It has been a young woman walk on her own. Mary was there in her own house. Not knowing that heaven was already packaging something. You are in this meeting tonight. You are doing your own thing. Dancing before God. Singing before God. You are just doing your own thing. I prophesy. Heaven will attend to your matter. In the name of Jesus. Come on, don't miss this moment. I say heaven will attend to your matter. Heaven will attend to your matter. Heaven will attend to your matter. In the mighty name of Jesus. Joseph went to the prison not committing any offense. And he was forgotten there. I don't know where you have been forgotten. But in this month of good news, you are remembered in the name of Jesus. Come on.
that eventually announced. Sometimes it is very dangerous not to know the purpose of a thing. They said, what you don't know is bigger than you. Yes or no? Yes. So. Yes. And somebody also said that the greatest mountain that a man will ever be confronted in his lifetime is the mountain of his ignorance. That's right. God hates people to be ignorant. First Corinthians chapter 12, verse 1, he said, concerning spirituals, the King James put gift, but in the original Greek, there was no Greek there. Concerning spirituals, he said, I don't want you to be ignorant. One translation says, I don't want you to be misinformed. The way most translations of the 21st century said, I don't want you to be unaware. So there are some spiritual things that are paramount to your next level that you have to be cautious of. Because the, the MC said something. He said, when you don't know the purpose of a thing, you abuse it. He said, abuse is either imminent or inevitable. What is purpose? Briefly. I'm going somewhere. Purpose is what was wanted that makes the maker maker. But what purpose is just the reason for the creation of it. Your understanding makes you to be in line with the overall or what they call perfect will of God for your life. So that what you know can begin to know you and work for you. <laughs> Somebody say. Sua 
States tomorrow. Amen. Amen. You know, we're going to be having another powerful ministration through songs. If you look at the Bible very well, number one signifies the beginning. You know, the Bible says on the second day, it said, It shall revive us. You know, we have gotten revival from these children. You know, when the boy started, daddy had to stand up. Hallelujah. You know, almost all of us wanted to stand up, even though because daddy went that way. Hallelujah. You know, these ones are the hip hop of the divine. 
They brought a shake into Jesus. And they are the shake of Jesus. Hallelujah. Forget that the boy was standing. But he said, on the third day, he will raise us up. I want to believe that this third ministration is going to raise somebody up. I said, it's going to raise somebody up. If you are that person, starts rising up. As the usher in the third minister, Mrs. Omolade. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. 
Thank you. 